All right, Shalom. All praises, honor, and glory as always be unto Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh Shabbat, Hashem Rakakwadash, which is the Paleo Hebrew for the name of the Heavenly Father, the Ancient of Days, the Creator of all energy, being Yahweh, and that of His Son, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, being Yahweh Shai. These be the only names in which salvation may be obtained, whether you've been given the Spirit to receive that knowledge or not. I'd like to give double honors unto the elders and the apostles at GMS Great Millstone, who do rule well through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, who have taught me this truth, and peace, love, blessing, salutations be unto the elect of the nation of Israel, beginning with 140 and 4,000 prophets, all the way down to the remaining elect of our nation prophesied to come out of this world, to come out of the lies and the deceits and the hypocrisy that we have been taught, and come into the knowledge of who we truly are, man, which we are not so-called Negroes, Latinos, or Native Americans, man. We are the 12 tribes of Israel who have been scattered into all nations, man, not just winding up here in the Americas, you see, but throughout all nations, suffering the curses of Deuteronomy 28 and the 15th verse all the way on through, building up the economy of all these heathen nations, man, building up their nations, fighting in their wars, you see, being oppressed, struggling, man. You are the Israelites, you see. And if you're able to receive this glorious gospel, man, then your seed goes back to being that one of the 12 tribes of Israel. You see, of what you would modern day call a so-called negro latino or native american you see but with that being said man coming into the knowledge of who we are coming to the knowledge of the power that we have been given through the spirit and power behind by shimmy Shai, you see that comes with the way of living man if you're going to call yourself royalty if you're going to call yourself a king then you must conduct yourself as one man which this world does not teach us to do that man this world has taught us to d destroy ourselves this deceiver has given you black and brown culture and replacement for an unsearchable law, as the scriptures call it, man. You see? And these are the same people that tell you to love everybody. Hypocrites, man. Hypocrites. But let me go ahead and uh, go on. It's uh, 1 John 4 and uh, verse 5. It says, They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. You see, this world is upside down, man. You see? And when you speak according to this world, you're going to be heard. You're going to be received. You see? Which is why Christianity has pushed all this acceptance into the world. They've taken our book and used it to manipulate and destroy our people into thinking that acceptance is the proper way to be, man. You are a king, man. The scriptures call us the judges of the earth, man. The scriptures tell us that we are to judge the very angels. You see? So let me go ahead and go on. It says, verse 6, we are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us. You see? He that, that knows the most high is going to take heed to it, man. Receive it. You see, the spirit is going to be upon this individual to hear this glorious gospel and receive it, man. All right. Even though it comes contrary to this world, contrary to everything that we've been taught, man. We've been deceived. We've been destroyed. And meanwhile, this 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 beast that has told us to accept all manner of flesh and that we're all equal, sits on the very top of the world and has capitalized off of your debt. That don't sound like equality to me, man. You see? There needs to be order in order for anything to flourish, man. If you have a business, you can't have everybody be in the same, the same position. You have to have somebody who runs the, the, the business. You have to have somebody who cleans up the, the area. You have to have somebody who's making sales. So, you know what I mean? Everybody has to fulfill their role, man. And the Heavenly Father created everybody to fulfill their role. Giving us the law so we could judge this earth in righteousness, man. The Heavenly Father created the judge. <laughs> you see? But all these curses have been put upon us because of us leaving this law. And now you've become just as the heathen nations, man. You are the prodigal son. You see? But now in returning, we're learning what true judgment is. What true judging is according to the word of the Most High. 
and ultimately what love is, man. Let me go ahead and continue. It says, he that he, that is not of God heareth not us. So they're going to they're gonna be the ones out there screaming, oh, you guys are hateful, this, that, and the third. Oh, how could God ever? Hey, man. At the end of the day, we just co-sign co into what the Most High has, has written, man, to what the prophecies say. And if you've got a problem with it, man, to hell with you. You see, obviously you are of this world and not of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, man, because he's coming to destroy this place. Those of you who are not repenting, those of you who are not striving for the Heavenly Father are going to be put to death, man. Point blank, period. We ain't going to soften that up, that message up. This is the message, raw and uncut. You see? Going on, it says, hereby we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. You see, that's how you know the spirit of truth. If, if somebody has a truth or if somebody does not have the truth. You see? Because they're going to be getting received by the world if it's a lie. And if it's the truth, hey, just like the old saying goes, in, 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 if the world is in a place of mass deceit, then telling the truth becomes a revolutionary act, man. That's what we've become. You see? We are telling you another kingdom is to be set up, man. This place is going to be destroyed. We are the Israelites. Equality is not the way to go, man. You are above the heathen nations. Thus saith the scriptures, man. You see? And how do we show love? And ain't by just hugging you and saying we're equal. <laughs> There's an action behind it, man. Let's see what love actually is according to the scriptures, man. All these goddamn Christians rolling up talking about love, 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 and love. You see? I'm going to grab this too because I was mentioning it earlier. I think it's 1 Corinthians 6, if I'm not mistaken. Con, do ye not know that the saints shall judge the world? And if the world shall be judged by you, are ye unworthy to judge the smallest matters? So we're going to judge the world, man. So we should be able to judge even the smallest matters. And how do we judge these matters? Not according to our own thoughts and opinions, or not according to what Esau has told us, but according to what the word says, man, point blank, period. You see? It says, know ye not that we shall judge angels how much more things that pertain to this life. You see? Hey, so we are the judges, man. And that's, that's the place we're returning to. You see? To judge this earth, man, to, to, to establish judgment here, establish order, which will then cause life to flourish, man. This is Romans 13. And uh, verse 8, it says, Owe no man anything but love, but to love one another. For he that loveth one another hath fulfilled the law. Look at that, man. He that loveth one another hath fulfilled the law. That's why they'll tell you this. Oh, love. God is. Oh, love. Love. All you got to do is love. Love thy neighbor. You, and, and you could do whatever you want. Just ask for forgiveness. All you got to do is love. There's an action behind love. What you talking about love? And you could do whatever the hell you want, man. Let's go ahead and continue and see, see what Paul is saying here, man. For this, thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not steal. You see, so the Holy Spirit was within Paul to say these words. You see that if you love one another... You are not going to be committing adultery, meaning what laying with another man's woman. You see, the scriptures tell you that she that put away her husband to lay with another man hath, hath, hath committed adultery and is worthy of death, man. You see, these things ain't being upheld here. These people in the world don't care about you, man. They will destroy your household just to just to lay with your woman, break up your whole family just to, and these are the same fucking people talking about love. You are the problem, man. The people in this world are the problem. Over here eating swine, talking about love. Over here putting diseases in your body and, 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 and in turn in the world. Talking about love. Hypocrites, man. Not knowing a damn thing about what love truly is, man. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Thou shalt not covet, and if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. So if there's any other commandment, then, then, then a way for you to uphold all these commandments to a degree is going to be for you to love your neighbor as yourself because it's going to keep you from breaking all these laws. Verse 10. <laughs> love worketh no ill will towards his neighbor, therefore love is fulfilling the law. Let me go ahead and grab another precept. This is... First John chapter 
to, I believe... Salakia. Here we go. First John five and two. By this we know that we love that we love the children of God. When we love God, we keep his commandments. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. You see? This is the love, man. You show the love by keeping the commandments. You see? Even though these people in the world will come and make it seem like you're the bad guy for keeping the commandments. You're the problem for keeping the commandments. Even though you're the one that's showing true love, man. You see? And this is going on where we, where we started out. First John 4 and now verse 7. Be loved. Let us love one another. For love is of God. And everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. So, man, hey, we love you see, we love the most high. We love our people. And in order to, 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 to save our people, our nation, the world. We are going to chase after you. by Shimmy I was shy. And if you don't like that, man, then get the hell out of the way because you are part of the problem. And as the scriptures say, you will know it by death, by pain, man. You see. So we are establishing love on this earth, man. We are establishing life on this earth, even though the world tries to make it seem like you are doing the complete opposite. Truly, you we are the only ones who are showing true love out here, man. You could leave your 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 uh, your fresh born baby Edomite at a man of the elect's house and he and that that baby Edomite ain't going to be harmed, man. You see? But when the coming of our king comes and that standard's lifted up, man, that's going to be a whole nother story. When we are returned to our natural place as a king in the flesh, which we are now returning in the spirit, but soon it'll manifest itself in the flesh at the coming of our king. You're going to pay for everything that you've done, man. You goddamn Edomites, you two thirds, every single one of you, man. And then we can have peace. So with that, Lord will or will is edifying. Call all you, Malay, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shabbat, Shemrakakwa, Dash. Double honors unto the elders and the apostles, and peace, love, blessing, salutations unto the elect. Shalom.